Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade Win 1032 bit to Win 1064 bit without losing data on your machine with a few simple operations. If a computer can upgrade to a 64 bit version, its configuration must meet the following requirements the system type must be an x64 based processor. If it's an x86 based processor, it can't be upgraded to a 64 bit version. My computer is currently using a 32-bit, x64-based processor, and here's how to lift the cable to a 64-bit. First, you download the ISO Win 1064-bit file and the Winto HDD software to the machine, I left them in the description. After downloading the machine, you save it to some other folder on the C drive, because when upgrading will occur on the C drive, the data on the C drive should be transferred to another drive. If you have one C drive, you should split it into several other drives to store the data. When you download the Win2 HDD software, you double click to install, then select OK and Next to install. After the installation, you open the software Win2 HDD up, then select Reinstall Windows. Click on the square of the folder box to add the ISO Win 1064 bit file. Note that the ISO file must be saved to another folder on the C drive to install, I saved it on the F drive. After you add the ISO file, you choose the Windows version to install. We will choose the Pro version, depending on your choice, however, it is recommended to choose the Pro version because it is common and has more features than the Home version, making it suitable for many types of computers, while the others are for business. Then select Next, the software will automatically select the C drive to install, you choose Next, the window asks you to create a WinP installer, you choose Yes, the machine will create the WinP version itself, you wait to load. Load done window asking the data in the C drive will be deleted, if you have not transferred the data to another drive, then select no to transfer the data, then do it again, already transferred, then you select yes. The complete setup window asks if you want to continue. If you select yes, the software will reboot and restart the machine itself. And install, you wait for the setup machine, when you go to the settings you are to the default United States, choose yes, keyboard, then let us, then select yes, wait for automatic setup, the provisions of Windows, you choose ECAP to continue. Then select setup personal use, select next, fill in any Microsoft account you have and no account, select offline account, then select limited experience. Here you fill in the name of your computer and then select next. If you want to set the password for the computer you entered, I did not set it, so I will leave it empty. It will be set later. Accept, accept, wait for the setup machine, normalization is completed, check again, my computer is up to 64 bit. After the installation, you should update the window to update the settings for the 64-bit version. You go to the settings, to update and security, then select check for update, wait for the test and update, and the update will be over quickly. After the update, the machine will call restart, depending on whether you want to restart now or let it happen later. So I've taught you how to upgrade from Windows 1032-bit to Windows 1064-bit. If you see or like it, share and subscribe to see more videos. Hello, and see you again.